It's almost time to eat. I do intermittent fasting. Uh, I've been doing it for about a week now. It's getting a little easier. Um, just got to be more disciplined and remind myself, yo, you can't eat until like 1.30. Okay. So that's what's going on with me. Um, trailer saga continues. Um, went out to go get a trailer last night. They sent me to do the same BS. Um, the place wouldn't release it. It got late into the night. I told them I'm going home, going to sleep. And uh, hey, whatever happened to that load, I don't know. But I went home, went to sleep, parked my truck, and went about my business. This weekend, I plan on securing a trailer, though. I have uh, two loads going out uh, Monday. So over the weekend, I'm going to secure a trailer. I'm going to make sure of that. And um, I'm going to find somewhere to park it. I don't have a parking spot yet, but it's going to go to the latest, greatest Walmart in this area somewhere. Because <laughs> I'm not having another week where I'm just sitting here looking stupid. Cause it was unplanned. It was like unplanned vacation, so you know, I'd rather be working. But it's cool because I got to work on my health. Got the intermittent fasting. Started the 100, uh, 100 push-ups a day challenge. Um, and I've been going to the gym, and I've been staying focused on uh, watching my eating and my uh, my steps. I've been paying real close attention to. Um, my resting heart rate, uh, how much sleep I'm getting, things like that. I didn't get much sleep yesterday. It's all good, though. But anyway, enough about me. It's time to answer a subscriber's question. Um, he sent me on the last video, if you want to check out the comments, is there. Um, he said uh, he's been driving for a long time. And, uh, you know, he wants to get his own truck. Um he saved his money up pretty well, and he wants to know if he should go to LRM to get a truck. Are they a good dealer? I'm going to answer your question right now. LRM is a good dealer, but they are the last option. Why do I say that? Because of the down payment the monthly payments and the interest. Okay? Um, and just like the housing market, <clears throat> when it crashed, all the houses were really expensive. Um, right now, the trucks are really expensive. Everybody's overcharging for everything. Trailers are really expensive. They're overcharging for that. They're overcharging for parts people's labor is going up okay the reset button may be hit at some point and do you want to be uh having this really expensive truck that you're paying for when all the truck prices then drop you know what i'm saying um because usually you're going to be into a payment plan for three maybe five years i don't know um, but in the next two years, everything could come back down as far as freight, truck prices, trailer prices, and then that would be your time to get into it. But if you can find a, um, good deal right now, then go for it. You know what I'm saying? But LRM would be my last option as far as that goes. First option is how I started out, what HT preaches. Um, I even heard SoCal say it before, cash truck. Get you an older cash truck. Um, it's less risk involved. And um, it's the same thing, I, I've done it. I got me a Volvo cash, a cash bought it out right. And um, you know, the story of it, you know, is in my is in my one of the videos. So I'm not gonna get into that, but I had a cash truck. Um I still believe in that way of beginning. When you come into the industry, I believe in that way, coming into it. Now 
if you have an abundance of money saved up, yeah, you can go get you a, 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 a truck with payments and all that stuff. Is it the wise thing to do when you first start getting your get, becoming an owner operator and uh, getting your authority? No, it's not. It's not the best way to come into the industry. But nevertheless, there's many ways to come into the industry, and it works out for some, and some it doesn't work out. So, I don't think any one way is like the end all be all. But the safest way, to me, excuse me, is to get you a truck cash, preferably two thousand to 2007 no def okay um no one box none of that garbage um you know coming that way uh rebuild the truck or find one that's been rebuilt not too many miles on it um with paperwork of course and rock out that way that's the wiser thing to do now, if you like, hell, no, nah, I ain't doing all that. I ain't got all that money. Then, okay, get you a newer used truck, right? There's deals on those trucks, too. You just got to look. Um, You can find those trucks cheap cash, too. But if you got to do one with payments, I'm going to look at LRM, see what they got, and I'm going to compare to see what I can find. Now, if LRM is, is what they the, the offering the best deal, then damn it, then I'm going to go with LRM. Because I know they go through the truck. I can trust what they do. I mean, granted, you want to have it looked over, obviously, because, you know, nobody's perfect. But you can trust that at least they go through the motor part of it. They really do. Um, my, my, my bearings were changed in my engine. Um, when I first got it, so they really do go through the motor. They check everything as far as that goes. Um, so that that has to be number one. How you come into the industry? Cash truck. If it's a newer used truck, you still want to get it cash. If it's an older truck, which is the way you should come in, it's less headache. You know it's going to run. Um, you may not get the best fuel economy, but you know it's going to run. And there's less um, ins and outs and things you got to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I when I plant, okay, I may pay this truck off. I don't know. But if it ever gives me an issue where I'm like, yo, $14,000 $14, and I got to get all this garbage changed. It's not my truck, so I don't want to get the surgery on it. So it might have to go back. It's not a mite. It's going to go back. And I'm going to go get me like a, a 2006. I mean, 2000 and a, a, two, a 96, a 98, or a 2000 truck. And I'm going to build it. And I'll, I will do it right. If I have to do everything over again, I'm going to do it that way. And I enjoy my truck. I like it. It's new. It's new. It gives me no problems yet. But when that one box go, if I'm not prepared, hopefully I'm prepared for it, but I couldn't see myself putting 14 G's in for a one box. I, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's a rebuild, bro. We, no, I can't do that. Anyway. When it happens to me, I'll let you know what I do. But, um, hey, for right now, the best way to do it, take your money, go get you a cash truck, build, get that cash truck road ready. Even if you get a newer used truck, you got to get it road ready. It just may not be as much, as many things as you, you may have to do as many things to that truck. But my suggestion, just like HT's suggestion, I ain't going against the grain at all because I think it is the best way to come into the industry. Newer, uh, get yourself a used truck, older truck for cash, cheap, build it up, rock and roll. Get you about a solid year out of it with no issues and maybe little knickknack issues. But um, any truck you get, you want to try and at least get three to six months, no headaches. 
No headaches whatsoever. All right now. I have nothing else to say. Good luck in your adventure. Good luck to all y'all drivers in, in y'all adventures. All right. Hope these rates keep on going up. But I hope all the um, I hope the fuel goes keeps on going down. I hope nothing else goes up. Just the rates. The rates to just go up. That's it. Everything else can stay how it is. I'm, I'm on the um, JB Hunt load, but right now looking at some loads. See what I can get over. See if I can get some uh, something better paying. It's not looking too good, though, because I'm not trying to go to Florida. All right. Struck a bill. I'm out.